Brian Pappenhausen will start us off. A good Friday footy. I hope you found some Easter eggs lying around the house and you can sit back and uh, enjoy the footy tonight from Amy Park where the conditions are just about perfect now, I'd say. The Broncos in possession first. And that's the veteran winger, David Meach. He's been good since coming back from the UK. Does some good things. A couple of metres out from the line. Here's Hughes. And then Munster. And then Pappenhausen. Oh, it was a long way in. Xavier Coates had O'Connor might have dropped it. I'm going to We're going to the video to have a look. Okay, he's gone in a touch. It's a handover. They're tackled inside the 10. Here's Smith. To Hughes, to Munster. Bodies in motion. Pappenhausen all that much. Another one up. Look out. Xavier Coates. He's there with it now. Here we Xavier go. Xavier Coates. Here we go. Shadow car. He went the ankle tap. And Coates has beaten him all ends up. I think we've got to come back and look at this though, don't we? There was a bit of pinball action. Oh, he's it's given that, but the bunker can still have a look. Billy, why did he jump? I thought he should. I thought he had him. He went for the ankle tap. But it was counter-attack transition from defense straight into attack. Melbourne all set up to the left. Pappenhausen throws the pass, it goes to ground, and Tessie knew he picks it up, offload, and gets it to their fastest man in the team. Xavier Coates, the Fox looked like he had him. Why did he dive there? I Jeez, don't what know. an athlete this wow. young fella is. Just did and does a great job. Tessie New flicks the ball inside. The error here from Olam. Just watch New gets the ball. Watch Dearden's slide of hand. Catch. Oh, great pass. catch. And then look at these two go at it. That's what we wanted to see. And the young buck has sprinted away. Yep. Toiler is being for this Brisbane club. It, it happened there under 20s team way back in 2008. The NRL club, another what's, turn. What's happening here? It's bizarre. Melbourne on the counter punch. Here's Olam running hard. Is that a psycho up from fullback? He threw himself in the way and probably had to. Oh, Kenny Bromwich is kicked. It's the second tackle and he's going to get a repeat. What's the date? Tell me, it's April Fool's Day, isn't it? <laughs> that was yesterday. Hey, Kenny Bromwich just asked grabbing Kenny. the ball on play two. Now Milford 40, 20. This is on track. He's, He's nailed it, Anthony Milford. What a great kick. Feed it for Milford. He's going to put it on the boot. He gets a bounce. It sits up and Pappenhausen is there. And he'll get it back into the field of play. Well, that bounce didn't help David Mead at all. Well, it was unlucky. It was a great set play. Anthony Milford kicking early off shape. Coach in the dummy half. And Dearden to Turpin to Milford to Haas. There's a bit of jumper grabbing going on out there at the moment. Oh, that wasn't a jumper grab. That was a that was a oh, Justin Olin top shelfer. That was a collision. Oh, play on. Stand now. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was awful. Can we have a look at that again, please? That was just. <laughs> I've never seen that happen to Payne Haas. I've never seen him get. <laughs> Block of granite with a bit of finesse on the back. And a pass through. Pappenhausen's backing up. Ah, oh, that's more Melbourne like. Uh, Olam with the, the crunching defence, but what a ball. Great little backhand pass, and Addo Carr's pace left them behind. Well, the confidence to throw this pass. Justin Olam, he made the decision last week with two seconds to go on the clock to put the head down but this time just watch when he gets the ball he skips to the out puts the the ball in the left hand and just flicks the ball and Josh had okay he does not need much space to create a try and the everywhere man Ryan Pappenhausen he's supporting up the middle the ball just goes to that dynamic left hand side Justin Olam and a beautiful flick pass Joey and the Fox fresh haircut streaking down the sideline Xavier Coates, he won the first race, that time the Fox won all. And they've been wobbly in the first half hour, but Melbourne are on par. Only the one try in the season so far. 
Well, Josh had a cut. Olam, he's punched the hole up the middle. Pappenhausen's there again. Well, this is just individual brilliance from Justin Olam. The little rocket, the human missile. Just watch him get the ball and just go straight through the Broncos' defensive line. Straight through the front door. Here he is. Look at that. Patrick Carrigan. And the man that is always there, Ryan Pappenhausen. Must be always on his toes, Joey. Ryan Pappenhausen. You see Justin Olam. Just footwork right at the line. Well, the anticipation. And it's that... You can see the fatigue in the game at the moment. He was the only one to react from the storm. Back-to-back -back tries for Melbourne. Yep. Former school teacher. Turn in our all-star, Munster now. Makes some fancy footwork. They haven't put him down yet. This is dangerous. Munster comes to Dearden. Is he strong? Looked like a parent holding an infant there for a second. Here's to Nelson, he wants to force this out. Pappenhausen, he's got a hat trick. Yeah. Oh, the late offload. It's a great play. Big Nelson rolls forward. And who else? Pappenhausen, is that a hat trick? Yeah, yep. That's a genuine hat trick, three in a row. You can see him watching for the offload, waiting for Nelson to get his arm free. And he just wants it. He just wants the ball. Look how tough he is. Wants the collision and wants the try line. I remember a conversation. He came to me in the preseason. He said, how, how, do I, how do I get a look in? He was playing on the wing in the reserves team. And he just worked extremely hard. He got an opportunity off the bench and he okay. showed his toughness. Yes. Look out, here he is again. Pappenhausen, he's going to get four. This is unbelievable! Well, Kevin Walters is saying, stop talking about him. I'm out of words. Oh, oh, Joey. Cut, <laughs> cut and taste. That's all we've been talking about the last 10 minutes. The big, same combination. Big Nelson rolls forward. Nelson finds Anthony Milford in the line. Harvey Norman replay. Big Nelson on Milford. Attracts three, four. Offload at the back, beautiful play there, and then Pappenhausen, once again, the anticipation. Well, this it's is freakish. This is Melbourne. This is Melbourne. Look at the bodies in motion. There's people in motion. Tom Eisenhuth, we spoke about him before a storm action. Watch Tom's line there. It just drags defenders, allows Nelson to create an offload. Brandon Smith picks up Jerome Hughes, and that man, well, he's always going to be there. Milford. He's hit that nicely. A spiraling kick. Pappenhausen with the catch. It does it easy. I reckon James Tedesco's taking his person at home. I wonder what he's gonna he's gonna produce. Oh look out. Yeah, Munster reacts and here. Brisbane for going on with that. Legla. And then Cameron Munster comes in, but I think it's just push and sharp chits. Wing has can drop back, they're gonna go through <laughs> the hands and well that's a bit of an anticlimax. They're happy for half time. Getting ready for the spray yeah. from Craig Bellamy. Half time at Amy Park. And the scoreboard attendant has RSI because it's been the Ryan Pappenhausen show. Let's see if Brisbane can find a, a bit of something here in the second half. They've got to, they've got to stop this uh, amazing attacking juggernaut being led by the man in number one. Here's to Munster, here he is. Oh, he spears a pass that was forward. That's a shame. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. That's Out up. of his hand, that looked backwards. Shot clock on. Munster, a kick for Ado Car. Poach was in field. Asako gets across, nearly dropped it. Caught it before it hit the ground. Then he calmly passes it to Xavier Coates. Milford takes off, goes to Dearden. They've got some room here, Brisbane. Dearden with a pass to New, who throws it on the boot. Munster's back there. Oh, good footwork. He gets away from Coates and gets back into the field. Sort of player that 
Craig Bellamy would love, wouldn't he? Never let you down. Bellamy's backwards. Good group of them. Think about him and, and Lewis and Hines. They're, 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 the, they're the glue, if you like, in amongst the superstars in the Melbourne side. Hughes. Oh, no one made a play at that. Eisenhuth that bounced up on his chest and George Jennings will score. There he is, your man, Joey. Well, the effort areas. That's what he coaches, doesn't he, Craig Bellamy? Effort areas. Well, there was a bit of a holding pattern in this game. Melbourne knew they didn't need to score. But the kick, they didn't kick it too far. They got to the contest and the presence of Remus Smith and George Jennings just creates that that competition in the air. Here's Nico Hines. Here's Jesse Bromwich. Powers his way to within a couple of metres of Brisbane's line. Here's Munster. Here's Pappenhausen. He delivers the pass this time. Jennings with another one. Oh, it's looking a bit ominous now. What a beautiful set play there from the Melbourne Storm. Hines. Hughes. Tackle. tackle by Alex Glenn and Patrick Carrigan. Nico Hines. Ball bounces back. Hughes has got it. He hasn't restarted the count. Here's Bromwich now. Jesse Pappenhausen around the back. Munster with a kick ahead. He'll score. No way. Well, this is backyard footy at its best. Nico Hines looks like he's playing halfback for the moment. Pappenhausen, oh, had a car, he had a dodgy knee. But he's there to make the tackle on Xavier oh, Coates. Pinpoint kick from Pappenhausen. Short restart. Josh Adokar, is he putting his hand up and kick it? Yeah, it's his 100th game. <laughs> no, mate, how's the knee now? Yeah. How's the knee going? He's, uh, he's kicked the, he's it, kicked it, the it, leather it, it, off it. <laughs> Melbourne, they make it two wins for the season so far. Uh, 100th game celebration for Christian Welsh and 100 games for Melbourne for Josh Adokar. What a performance by the Storm.